tell me I don't listen to you. You told me to take it back, so I did. And this is what they told me. Let's go. So I had a little bit of confusion in the comment section under my last video because some of you saw the issue and some of you didn't. And I feel like it is my fault because it was my delivery and my wording that was a little confusing to some of you. What I was supposed to say is that when I did the comparison between my tiger eye pendant, which I appreciate so much more now, and the carnelian pendant is to just look for black spots in the four spheres, in the four bubbles. And and then you would understand the issue. So if you see the black dot in the bubble, that's my camera. My camera is black and that's its reflection. And if it's gray or muddy or non-existent, that means the surface is so like corroded, so uneven that it doesn't have the mirror-like effect. Therefore, it's not reflecting light properly and it's not reflecting anything properly. Some of you said that you saw the issue, but you still suggested me to keep the pendant because the carnelian was to die for. And I absolutely agree. The color was very rare. It was such a pop of red. And then most of you suggested that I take it back because even if you didn't see the issue, you know if I notice something, if I see something, I should stand my ground and, um, well, defend my purchase and make an exchange or bring it up to someone. So comes Black Friday and Alex needed to get a few things. So I suggested that we go to South Coast Plaza because we love that mall. And we always bring Johnny with us because we go to Quattro, we go to eat there uh, most of the time. So we made a little family outing out of our Friday and I took my pendant with me. Now what the hell is this no pet policy in the South Coast Plaza? No dogs allowed? Like if I'm coming from Beverly Hills, it takes me two hours in traffic. If you have a Pomeranian, you might know that they're not good alone. You can't leave them alone for over four hours at a time if you want them to uh, stay healthy, to not be depressed, to not have any coat issue, to just be healthy and happy overall. There is no way I can leave him at home when I go there. Very rarely I leave him at home for six hours and that's only because he's got a cat and she keeps him entertained. So he kind of has his little babysitter and then I still feel guilty so they told me that hey uh you need to leave the store the mall and I'm like well I'm going right there which is the Van Cleef and our pal boutique new location which is right across from the entrance from the parking lot and he said okay but you have to leave right after and I'm like what the hell how much money does this mall lose on this stupid idiotic policy because the South Coast Plaza Mall it's pretty much a little Asian community and I don't know a single Asian lady who doesn't own a Pomeranian or another little cute animal so I felt at home there Everybody adored Johnny. He played with other dogs. We spoke to many people. We made friends there. And all of a sudden, all of that has changed. I don't understand that. Anyway, this is the update. And we're going to wait a little bit to open it because I need to tell you how it all went down. So on my way to the boutique, I made an appointment. I wanted her to put a couple of pieces on hold for me. A carnelian pendant and a malachite pendant. I just wanted to see if they had the same issue. So she texted me her brightest carnelian and it was a little bit more on the orangey side, but I still wanted to see it later. And she sent me two pictures of malachite pendants. I chose the color and I put one of them on hold. So when I got to the store, she was very nice. She greeted me, she showed me all of the pendants and I spilled the tea to her. I told her everything that happened. I brought my loop to the store. It has a light on it, so it was very easy to see the issue. And she started looking at the pendant and she discovered another issue with it, which I'm so happy she did because she used the loop that doesn't have the light, the ones they use at the boutique. And she told me that the actual sphere, the round bubble, the circle was uneven as well at the bottom. So it was everywhere uneven. It was not just the top that was supposed to be shiny. She found issues with her loop that I had no idea 
were there so I was so happy that she discovered them and after we talked about the whole situation she said that she was going to show it to her manager and the manager would make the decision on what to do with the piece somebody in the comments also noticed that the amount of gold was less than on this pendant on the four bubbles which I agree with then I asked her for a couple of pieces that were always on my wish list but they were never available I never told you I wanted it so you definitely don't know what was in my wish list but they received it and I asked to see it and it is slightly more expensive and Alex was willing to get it for me because he knows how long I've been waiting for this piece and how long I've wanted it and it's never been available I didn't order it because I don't like giving my money it's like every time you pre-order something and wait a certain amount of time it's like you're loaning them the money to make you a piece which makes every single piece now a custom order a made to order piece which should never be like that that is backwards I do not appreciate that at all so I am not gonna support that policy and if something is meant to be mine it's gonna be mine and I really believe in it so when it happened to be there at that location at the time of me exchanging this piece I felt like I'm not gonna let Alex get it for me but then the more I looked at it, I wanted it more and more. So I came up with an excuse because you need to know a little bit of my background. In a nutshell, I'm the only child and I was never spoiled. So my mom did my annual shopping before school and she got me one pair of sneakers for the entire year, one pair of jeans for the entire year. She bought me jackets that were three sizes bigger so I could wear them for three years. Hats and gloves I wore for three years. And she would buy me something small for Easter because for Easter we went to our village and you know, rednecks like to dress up for Easter and uh, I was one of those rednecks so I like to dress up for Easter and my parents did buy me a, a thing or two like a blouse or some dressy shoes and then I wore them until they broke and that wasn't it every time I got those things I was guilt tripped and yelled at and almost like shamed for having them so my mom was always screaming you don't appreciate anything you get so much stuff I never had what you have I felt like girls in my school in my class had way more things they had a few pairs of jeans they could switch them around they had a couple of different jackets and I always wanted to dress like them I was so jealous so 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 jealous I was admiring their outfits imagining what it would feel like to have a new outfit every day because I had to do my laundry every single week to have have what to wear for the next week of school and the fact that I was always guilt tripped and shamed for needing new things really didn't make me excited to go shopping I even before going shopping trying on jeans and it was like a street market it wasn't like a, a, a fancy store or anything like that a boutique no it wasn't even a mall no it was just on the street and when I went shopping, I already felt bad about myself and I already was like feeling ashamed that my parents had to spend money on me. I wanted new things, but I hated going shopping because I knew that nothing comes for free. I never experienced my grandfather, my mom's dad, because he passed away when I was a year and a half. So I don't have any specific memories of him, but it felt like I knew him because every single year, whenever we went shopping, I was told the same story over and over and over again you don't appreciate anything when I was in school my dad went to take out the trash and he found boots in the trash that somebody else threw away and he brought them home and that was one of the happiest days that I remember from my childhood because I cleaned them and I was so happy and I was so grateful and I was so thankful and I always felt like what the hell is wrong with me why am I not this thankful why am I not this grateful why am I like really such a brat am I so selfish I'm taking these things from my parents and they need that money and here they are spending it on me like on new shoes and it was really eating away at me like that was such a 
torture. And every single time they got me something, I heard that story from her. And it continued all the way into my adulthood until I turned 18 and ran away to the US. Then the guilt tripping stopped and I finally felt at peace. But then I played the green card lottery for them and won. Anyway, water under the bridge. Now I still feel guilty every time somebody gets something for me. So I told Alex, listen, I know I wanted this for a very long time and if you get it for me, it's gonna be considered our anniversary present. So that's how I was okay with him buying it for me and not feeling guilty because he does buy me things for our anniversary and I've combined the two presents for my 2000 subscribers and for our anniversary and got something slightly more expensive and I had a blast with Yi Yang. Yi Yang? She gave me the book as well. I just want to see her name. No. I'm so sorry, I butchered the name. It's Ya Ying. Ya Ying. Sorry, girl. She doesn't know I have this channel or anything like that. She's been there for only two months. I have never worked with her, but I don't have a specific essay there. I don't like anybody in particular, so I asked for anyone and I got her. We had a blast. She was so much fun. She loved Johnny. She was so funny. We even talked about this candy. I told her that when I eat it, I like to combine the milk and the dark because there's four chocolates in this and there's two dark and two milk. So I combine, they're really tiny and I eat two at a time, one dark, one milk because dark is too bitter and milk, milky is too, I feel like light for me. And she told me, oh my gosh, I am that weirdo. I do the same thing. And then we started talking about coffee and how light roast has more caffeine than medium or dark roast because dark roast loses all of the caffeine while it's being fried or roasted. So it was such a blast. We learned from each other. It was a lot of fun. And I asked her what her zodiac sign was and she said she was a Capricorn. Where all Capricorns have been all my life. I mean, Alex is a Capricorn. But seriously, where is the rest of you? I mean, my dad is a Capricorn. They're both very funny. But women Capricorns, I always felt like they were just money-oriented bitches. But boy, how wrong I was. Capricorn girls, say hi in the comments below because you rock. Like, you are so freaking funny and easygoing. It was such, it was just such a beautiful and great experience. It was just fun. She didn't know much about jewelry because she's been there for two months only. And she did tell me some information that was false, which I don't blame her for. She just doesn't know. And I told her that out of everybody working at that boutique, I would only take her out for a drink. And based on the box, you probably have some guesses on what it is. Please comment down below what you think I got. I will be including this in my Christmas haul and Christmas unboxing video because I feel like it's very nice and I got it right before Christmas. So in my mind, I'm having all of these excuses just so I don't feel guilty. So comment down below. Let's see if you guessed it and I'm going to open it.